so we'll start light and axial. Ten years served. Uh, is this parole or is this um, honorable discharge? Well, if I'm successful uh, in terms of becoming a lieutenant governor, it will be parole. If not, uh, it will be honorable discharge. What type of tips or advice would you give your freshman senator self now that you're at the back end of your legislative well, career? Well, uh, first of all, I would, uh, I would uh, slap that senator for thinking about even running for Senate. And after that, I'll have a long conversation with him and just tell him to keep, keep it grounded, keep it real. Uh, don't forget where you come from. Uh, I come from humble beginnings. Uh, I grew up in Clifton Hill in Machu Chal in a little two wooden, a little two, uh, two room wooden house with an outhouse latrine. I know younger people have never experienced that. You know, things like that, it, it keeps you humble. And that's one of the things that I'll tell myself. Keep, keep it humble. Don't forget, um, don't forget where you come from. And treat everybody equally. To me, it's so important. You got to treat everybody equally. Everybody. The egos, the agendas. Oh. Um, what have been some of your instances um, dealing with that? And um, how are you able to forge forward? It's, it's kind of hard because you, you have... I work with 14 individuals that are so different in nature, uh, and there are times in which, I'll be honest, you, you shake your head and you wonder how, was, how this person got elected, or how they became a, a leader. Uh, I remember going to meetings and seeing individuals just stroll in with no documents in their hand, nothing at all, and they ask about a piece of paper and a pen. I'm like, you're, you're not prepared at all. I believe in putting a, a honest day work. There are some that don't. I've seen senators that you only see them like every couple of months, which is, yeah, it's, it's, it, it really ticked me off because you work for the people. Does the Virgin Islands government and the legislative branch and the judicial branch, um, do we need more transparency? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, with social media and uh, the other type of medias that we have, uh, uh, as harsh as they seem sometimes, uh, I think they're pressuring uh, all the branches of, of government to produce, to, to show what's going on. And there are times in which uh, I myself participated in meetings that maybe should have been open to the public. I will admit that. Uh, but overall, yeah, we need to be more transparent. This is, of course, we're doing the people's work. Thank you once again. And this has been Senator Samuel Sanis, a sit down with Sanis, as we say. Um, stay tuned for News 2 on YouTube for more information.